What's up guys, this is the Free Range Meat weekly vlog. It is actually Wednesday, because I haven't slept in like a week. I, I don't know if my liver's fried or what's going on, if they're spraying something in the air. I have not had like one good night's sleep since, I, I don't know. So I'm, I'm really out of it, I'm exhausted. I'm not feeling so hot. I was supposed to drive over to my Amish buddies this morning, but like I plugged the address into the GPS. It said an hour and 45 minutes and I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crash at this on that side. I just decided to go home, have breakfast. I tried to lay down a few more hours and I could not sleep. But uh, Monday, Tuesday, we basically just sent out most of the Thanksgiving turkeys. Almost all the meat orders went out. We ran out of ice yesterday, Tuesday, because uh, the company forgot I increased the amount last week. So then I ordered an emergency ice delivery today and they still haven't showed up yet, which is not good. Um, so there's, it's always something and I think uh, some of you guys, if you saw the end of the last vlog where I was nervous about the freezer, the unit did break. So I, I was complaining like a few vlogs ago about how I'm spending like 5000 a month in HVAC work in this building. It's making, I haven't made any money since moving into this building because th these freezer units are costing me a fortune. I can't, I, I, I just, hold on this. Dry ice guys call me, tell me if he's going to be here now. Because it's already like 145 and... FedEx might come, so we need the ice. Yeah, so that ice guy can't be here till four. My guy's supposed to leave at four. I don't know what I'm gonna do. This whole week has been a nightmare. All right, I guess I'll just do a quick walk around, show you guys what's going on. So in the fridge here, you guys have been buying all the milk, which is good, but we still have a lot of butter. So if you guys wanna help us out in the farmer, uh, just place an order for some raw 8282 butter. Uh, I don't know what we're gonna do if you guys don't buy it because now we have like, I don't know, we have too much money worth of butter and I'm trying to help this farmer out because he lost his other market, but uh, I don't know if I can continue to do that. But all the other dairy products are in stock, guys. We got sour cream, heavy cream, farmer's cheese, cottage cheese, whatever you would want from a dairy perspective. What's new is this thinly sliced turkey breast. Uh, so if you guys, uh, th this is very, very expensive for me to make and have. So hopefully you guys buy this. If not, uh, we're gonna have to stop doing it real quick. Uh, but this is just oven roast turkey breast, corn and soy free uh, turkey. You know, nothing else like this exists online. Uh, you guys did buy all the roast beef this week, so we sold out. I don't have any to show you guys. Uh, water key for supply looks okay. You guys are steadily buying it. Oh no, I think we have more plain over here. So maybe we do have a little extra. I showed you guys last week, all of the cheeses are back in stock. Eggs are back too. The sales are okay. Uh, maybe we can push a little more. Yeah, I was hoping to increase the egg sales and my farmer would supply me with more eggs, but they're, they're about the same. It was just, you know, that little hiatus of us being out of eggs for uh, two months. Was, there's like a little artificial demand on the restock days. All right, so in the freezer, we got the orders ready to go out. We just need to put ice in them, uh, but we don't have ice. There's some more orders here that are supposed to go out. This is all the, the turkey stuff over here. That's what's left of the 15 and 16 pound turkeys. So we only have maybe 20 or 25 turkeys left, uh, but then we have those three pallets of turkeys, which are a bit heavier. This, this unit has been running. They got that unit up and running. The, the fan motor outside was broken. And then we still have to get this one up and running. Uh, so last week we restocked the, well this is the collagen broth, but we also restocked the beef and bone broth last week. Yeah, so we, we got plenty of the collagen broth and then we made the beef and bone broth last week. So we have that available now. We're gonna make the chicken in the chicken broth this week. And we did the barley stew again. So we will have the barley soup for you guys. We will have it. Make sure my guys added the wine to that. All right, so the dry ice guy is not gonna make it here today. The game plan is we're just gonna send everything tomorrow with a lot of ice in the box and uh, hopefully it turns out okay. We're just gonna put a ton of ice in it, send it out because we don't really have a choice. It's, I don't think actually, I'm not sure how many of those orders in there are turkey orders. Maybe some of them aren't, um, but I mean, we don't have a choice because the only way people are going to get their orders before Thanksgiving is if we send them today, uh, tomorrow, Thursday. Uh, 
and then just get them out. So I'd have to make sure that FedEx Express shows up tomorrow. Because we don't usually, we don't even want to send express orders today, Wednesday. Because sometimes when we send express orders on Wednesdays, they get held over the weekend. But if we put a lot of ice in it, we had a few orders get held over the weekend last week. And they all showed up still frozen because of how much ice we put in the, in the boxes. So it should be fine. I'm going broke, but hopefully once these two HVAC units are fixed, there's, there's no, no further issues. Because then it's like, you know, what am I doing? I'm spending five thousand a month on this HVAC stuff. I might as well have the insurance pay for pay for new units because I can't afford to run a business. I think I showed you guys last week. We have all of the chicken breasts ground up. Uh, we're also going to do the chicken thighs this week. So we're going to have like fattier chicken meat uh, in the chicken thighs. Uh, I just told you guys we're going to do the we're going to have the chicken meat and the chicken soup available if you guys want like a nice chicken soup base. The beef and the beef is available. The barley soup's gonna be available. We might try to do some other stuff in the next few weeks. I'm not 100% sure yet. There's a meat order coming Friday. We're gonna restock some veal brains and some important things. And then a big meat order is coming Tuesday of next week. Uh, that's gonna be a lot of stuff. And then also on Friday of this week, with the Amish delivery, we're gonna get the fresh beef back. I'm not, <laughs> I'm honestly not looking forward to that because this Amish beef butcher has been, has, has, irritated me so much i am about to go cut some cows up in a field myself but i'm gonna go through it hopefully i don't get screwed too much on the price and uh the main the main reason we did that is because we haven't had it in a while for you guys but i don't think there's anything else to show you guys wednesday uh hopefully everything goes reasonably smooth oh we restock some stuff on wi-fi shielding so these are the extra extra large baseball caps these are actually too big for my head but with all my hair it's what i wear so when I have like a crazy amount of hair, these fit on my head kind of loose, uh, which I like because I get headaches whenever anything is wrapped tightly around my head. And we also restocked a lot of the uh, the large shorts and t-shirts. So we're kind of sold out of a lot of stuff on Wi-Fi shielding clothing wise, but we just restocked a lot of shorts and t-shirts and we also restocked uh, the large pants and like the long sleeve pants and the long sleeve uh, tops this the sweatshirt top so wi-fi shielding we have a decent amount of stuff so if you guys have been waiting for the clothing on wi-fi shielding it's available now and that should last us another month or two and then we'll we'll restock and we'll make sure we have but for the most part i checked on the website everything's kind of there uh in, in regards to the sizes and stuff maybe um, maybe like the xl t-shirts and shorts aren't available uh but everything else is yeah, everything else is besides that. So we have pretty much everything in stock on Wi-Fi shielding.com. If you, if you guys want some stuff, we got all the canopies, we got the headsets, we got bed sheets, curtains, basically anything you would want. Organ supplements, showed you guys last week, we have all the beef powders available now, everything's in stock. Same with Frankie's Naturals. We have the, the lip balm now, we have the remineralizing tooth powder, we have the beef butter moisturizing cream. So several new products on that website. I don't think we're going to do anything new for, for like another month or two, but towards the end of this year, beginning of next year, I think I will bring back the deodorant. I, I got some pretty funny label and logo ideas for the deodorant and for the, uh, for the hair pomade. We're definitely going to do Slick Rick for the hair pomade. And I, I mean, the recipe is going to be the same. I just need to make a new label. And then we're going to do, maybe we'll do our own uh, body wash moisturizing cream. But for now, we just have... You know, all, all this stuff available here, which, which are excellent products, which I like using a lot. All the household stuff is, I'm never going to make that stuff myself. That'd be crazy. Like the, the hand sanitizer, the dish uh, washer detergent, the regular dish soap, like sprays, bottle stuff, laundry detergent, baby wipes. Um, and we also have like the, the mouthwash is back in stock. We have some deodorant, toothpaste, uh, dental floss, frankiesnaturals.com. So those are the, the three businesses. And I have a really creative idea for uh, for a summer tanning product next year. Uh, I haven't I haven't launched it yet because uh, it's winter in, in America. So I'm, I'm saving that idea for next year. It's a really, really cool, creative, original idea. I'm looking forward to that a lot. Hopefully I don't throw in the towel and disappear to Mexico before then. Because I got I got the logo design and everything. I'm excited. I'm excited for that. So probably launch that like may or june of next year that's that's a big pro that's like a actually a separate business it's gonna be another business like we did giga chat gum as a separate business which hasn't been going so well the uh the corporate overlords don't like me talking crap about people that copy my ideas so 
haven't really been selling that much, but I'll, I'll stop rambling for today, guys. Uh, we'll try to get all the orders out tomorrow, Thursday, and then uh, we got a bunch of prep work to do and some meat orders coming in, so we're going to be restocking some stuff. And we should be busy all week this week and next week for, well, next week, Thanksgiving. We'll, we'll probably try to send some orders. Yeah, we'll send some orders out Monday, but we're not going to go too crazy and like trying to get a lot of orders out. And then if you guys do want other stuff like prime rib roast, turkeys, chicken stock, beef stock for the holidays in general, we'll still have them available. All right, guys, it is Thursday. I still have not slept. My brain is not working. <laughs> uh, but we're going to start off with reading some reviews because I will definitely not have time tomorrow or Saturday. Five-star review for the beef collagen sausage. Best sausage I've ever had. I knew it was going to be good, but not this good. Frankie Boy hit it out of the park as usual with this one. I've been eating them every single day and it shows. Just place an order for 15 more packs. Thanks as always, Frankie, the men. Yeah, we took basically bone broth and used that instead of water to make a plain beef sausage. So it's a very special and nutritious product. And we have five-star review for the Chug Beef Stew. Nothing much to say besides it tastes good. It's convenient and pretty tasty considering it's lightly salty. Meat is very tender with some very delicious fat pieces. Yeah, that's the basically Chuck cooked down nice and slow in bone broth. So again, very nutritious. Five-star review for the venison ground meat. Insane meat value. Absolutely insane that Frank sells 95.5 high quality venison for such an affordable price. Amazing taste, not super gamey at all. The better looking twin sibling of lean ground beef. Order this now. Yeah, we have the venison for $10 a pound right now. Then we have a review for the chicken. Turkey for tiny people. Although a bit pricey, it is the best price online for corn, soy free Amish chicken. Color is unlike any store, but yeah. Like, I was a little skeptical of offering the corn and soy free chicken in the first place, but even compared to other places online, we're still like, in some cases, half the price. So it's crazy how expensive the chicken can be. And then someone had a few eggs broken and we refunded them. Frank, thank you for the quick response and no hassle customer service refund. We love your products and will continue to purchase from your store. Yeah, just a few, a few quick reviews for you for you guys. So let me show you guys what's up today. The ice did come this morning at seven. It's Thursday, so I, I think I'm gonna have an issue with some packages next week. Hopefully the weather isn't too warm. I'm actually, you guys see I'm wearing a t-shirt. It's like really warm here in PA. I'm guessing especially for like the middle of November. It's like almost 65, 70 degrees outside. That could also explain why I'm not sleeping. Whatever they're spraying in the air is not letting me sleep. So here in the warehouse, we got everything boxed up. We got four pallets of orders going out. You guys hear the train? The train train tracks are like, maybe go outside. Ah, eh, I actually can't. So go outside and show you guys the train. I'd have to like, oh wait, I can go out this way too. Let me see if I can show you guys. Yeah, the train isn't passing by here, but this is our building and the train tracks are right here. Yeah, I don't see the train. See, so, yeah, so the track tracks go down there and all the way there. Pretty cool, I guess. Pretty cool. I mean, you wouldn't want a house by a train station, but if the business is right there, I guess I don't mind that much. We cleaned up the outside out here a little bit, or my guys did. I mean, it only took two hours. Just a little bit of garbage and like overgrown moss and stuff. But since we are not open to the public, it doesn't really matter. As I was saying, we have four pallets of packages going out. So yeah, hopefully we don't have too many issues. Uh, you know, we sent pellet ice in those because we couldn't get the block, so who knows? I mean, we have to send them, but whatever. Yeah, it's uh, it's nice out, so I turned, the, I turned the fan on to blow in air from outside to kind of air this place out. The pickles we did yesterday, the sauerkraut's ready too, so we should have all those on the website right now. My guys are uh, deboning the chicken thighs because now we're gonna have the ground chicken breast, which is the lean meat. And we're gonna have the ground chicken thighs, which is the dark meat. We redid the beef barley stew. I think I told you guys it looks good. So that should be fine for uh, for this week. So yeah, we had the, the jardiniera, the pickled cauliflower and stuff here. Now we have garlic dill pickles, organic lacto-fermented, so 
Uh, we cut them into spears and jarred them in the pickle juice. And we have a lot of pickle juice too. I actually try this, it's really tasty. And I'm guessing because it's lacto fermented, it has a decent probiotic content. I don't know, some people like drinking pickle juice a lot. What do they have, like pickle back shots and bars? Pickle juice seems pretty popular. So, both of those are available, and by the time this video is up, we should have the sauerkraut packaged up too. So we'll have all three lacto-fermented products. Now, normally, you can find lacto-fermented sauerkraut in the supermarket now, even, uh, even organic, but you know, how long has it been in the supermarket? How active is the probiotic culture? So, you know, this is made fresh, it's active, and we ship it right out to you guys. And the thing about the pickles and the jardinera, those are always made with like vinegar and sugar and chemicals and flavoring. So, organic jardinera doesn't even exist, let alone organic lacto-fermented jardinera. And same with pickles. You can find garlic dill pickles, you can find organic sweet and sour pickles, you can find organic pickles in the market, but Lacto-fermented pickles don't exist. They use, they use vinegar and sugar and salt and stuff to pickle them. Not, it's not a lacto-ferment, which is what gives it the beneficial probiotic content. Kind of interesting to me they do it with the sauerkraut, but not with the, the other stuff in the supermarket. Either way, we have three available now. Sauerkraut, pickles, jardiniera. Maybe uh, we'll do some stuff, other ones in the future, but for now, I think we're just gonna try to keep those available and in stock. They turned out very good. I'm happy with the end results. Uh, there's nothing to show you guys in the freezer, but we do have some big deliveries coming in tomorrow. I'll show you guys. Yeah, I think that was the main thing I was excited for today, just having the, the pickled vegetables and stuff available. Yeah, we gotta figure out a couple things because th those big pemmican bars are too large. You know, people don't want to buy $25 pemmican bars, so we're gonna have to figure out how to make them smaller. But yeah, I guess I'll, I'll just see you guys for, uh, for tomorrow's vlog. I'm so fucking exhausted. I'm just gonna try to do some orders for the non-meat businesses and then uh, and then maybe I'll help my guys out a little bit with the deboning the chicken thighs. Yeah, still got these, uh, still got a lot of potato chips in there. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do them again if you guys don't buy them. Because I'm barely making money on the chips anyway, so if people don't want them, then then why, why bother selling them? You guys bought the, maybe you, if you guys want the Wagyu beef fat ones more, I'll do those instead with those. Those are even more expensive to make and I don't have as much beef fat as I do cooking. I don't know, I'll figure it out. I don't really care at this point. When I'm in Mexico, you guys can buy Lay's potato chips. All right guys, it is Friday. I still feel like I'm dying. Bad news is I still haven't slept. Good news is I figured out that I was just really, really low on vitamin B1 to the point where I like really, really bad. I'm gonna make some videos on it next week, but like I've spoken about how important B1 is to supplement on higher carbohydrate diets. And I used to do it a lot in the past. It's just, since I moved out here to PA for some reason, like I stopped taking the B1 every day. And it was only yesterday that I realized like after eating white rice, like, oh, it's obviously the B1. Took some B1, I instantly felt so much better. Uh, so good news is we figured out what it was. Bad news is still haven't slept. Good news is figured out what it was. So I uh, should be feeling better over the next few days and, and getting some more sleep in. Uh, Business-wise, uh, I'll just take a quick look around and show you guys what's up today. I wasn't going to even come down or film today because my stomach was so messed up. Because a lot of the time when like when I'm having any sort of digestive issue, my backup plan is always take enough masticum to kill a horse, which isn't the best for your digestion. Uh, digestion. Issue with next week is since Thanksgiving is on Thursday and we get ice on Tuesday, if we ship out all the orders Tuesday, a lot of them are gonna be delayed for like a day. So we're, I think we're just gonna put like a lot of ice in the orders next week and ship them out anyway. They'll be fine. They're just gonna, they're just gonna take a little longer to get to you guys, which isn't that great. Cause like if you guys order on a Friday and you're not getting the package till the next Friday, I mean, I think people are understanding with the holidays and stuff. A few random deliveries here and there, some supplies for making the bars. Uh, main meat delivery, dairy and eggs, did come in today. No meat, though. Uh, I missed the phone call from my Amish buddy, Butcher, this week. I'm guessing he was going to call me and tell me he couldn't do it in time. Because I'm pretty sure he did not send us any meat. Yeah, so we got in some ribeye, strip steak, skirt steak, uh, wagyu strip, lamb feet. Just a few things we were missing. Some ground lamb. Eggs are in. Chicken eggs, duck eggs, chicken eggs. Pretty sure the butcher is not hiding any uh, 
any meat in here. I don't think so. So we got a new product in. I asked my farmer if he could make some cream cheese and he obliged. We have 16 ounce cream cheese now available. Uh, what's not good is we got even more butter, guys. I'm trying to help this farmer out, but I got more butter than I know what to do with. Guys, please buy this butter. I can't go into details, but our farmer was like being harassed by some corporations that had issues supplying milk to them. So I'm doing them a favor by buying their butter every week, but you guys have to buy it. Like, I try to get them to go lower on the price, but you know, I'm, I'm trying to make everyone happy, but now it's, it's kind of piling up a little bit. Into the freezer. We got all the chicken thigh meat ground up. You guys can see this is very, very dark chicken meat. Way too much work to do this, never again. Never again, but very unique product. We have the breast meat as well. And uh, plenty of chicken skins. Very unique, guys. No corn soy free chicken skins online available anywhere else. And I have prevailed and brought you guys the beef and barley stew. So, highest quality soup, back in stock. Yeah, we just got some ribeyes, nice thick one pound ribeyes. Got the, the freezer units back up and running. So, things are going reasonably well. I was gonna do some more stuff, but my stomach's a little wonky. I was gonna, um, I was gonna heat shrink wrap all the, the pickled stuff, the pickles and the sauerkraut and the jardiniera, just so that, you know, when it, we ship it out, it doesn't leak out of the box. But my stomach is so messed up, I might just do a little bit of work and then just go home so I'm like, then I should feel a lot better tomorrow. My stomach should be normal, so I could do some work tomorrow. Uh, but thankfully, there's like nothing crazy because I, I spent a lot of time working last week and got caught up on like most of the physical stuff I have to do. Other thing that came in is our uh, Mountain Valley water shipment. I don't know. It's probably four or five thousand dollars worth of water at least. And we're using it for a lot more now, even though like my water budget is nothing reason. <laughs> Imagine like I went public and my shareholders start questioning the business expenses and they're like, hold on, you spent that much money in Mountain Valley water? What are you doing with it? You're rinsing the glass jars with bottled mineral water? Like, it's a little crazy, but that that's like the quality that I would want for myself. So that's what I'm doing for you guys, whether it's the supplements we're doing or, <laughs> guys, we're, we are rinsing the pickle jars, the glass jars, we are cleaning them with Mountain Valley bottled mineral water before putting the pickles in them to make sure there's no residue. No one, no one is doing that, dude. No one is doing that. So you're getting the highest quality product possible. Uh, so I'm excited for that. Yeah, I don't really know how I'm gonna expand and, and get a slaughterhouse and everything. I think the only way is if I get lucky and like get a USDA loan on some farmland, which will allow me to raise the beef myself at basically no cost. Because if I get like a really low interest loan on some farmland, that has like 150, 200 acres. That's basically free food for the cows. So if I had 200 acres and put the cows on it and it was only like a few thousand dollars monthly bill for the farm, that might be, that might be, the, that might be the escape plan. Reduce the cost of goods with a low cost farm loan. But I think you have to have like legitimate farming experience. Oh wait, I do have farm experience. Oh wait, what? Should I send the USDA my cargo videos? Holy shit, that I definitely won't get a lot of fruit. <laughs> anyway, guys, my... I, I should uh, I'm gonna wrap this vlog up before my stomach explodes. But uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, Saturday, with more cool and collected thoughts. Oh, bro, one of you guys ordered the, the new roast turkey breast, three, three of them. My guys accidentally sent three like whole frozen turkey breasts, like five pounders. And then this person emails me. I didn't even respond to the email, I was a little upset. He's like, oh, you accidentally sent me three turkey breasts instead of the roast turkey breast. So instead of getting one and a half pounds of slice oven roast turkey breast, <laughs> he got like 20 pounds of raw frozen turkey. I was like, dude, 
I didn't need to see that email. He shouldn't have, he shouldn't have even emailed me. I was tempted to say, okay, um, you owe us like $300 and we'll send you your turkey pasta. <laughs> no, but I, I my guys make mistakes sometimes. This was just a slightly more expensive mistake. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? It is Sunday. To give you an idea of my current mental state, I was looking through my old emails and I was angry at the, the lawyer that screwed me over and I was telling him, like, listen up, I'm just gonna move to Italy and start an Italian porno site and, and that's gonna be it, that's what I'm gonna do. And, and honestly, looking back at a few years ago, that, that might have been the smarter decision, but uh, let's get back on track and, and let's read some reviews. So, we have a five-star review for the Beef Butter Beef Tallow Moisturizing Cream. Amazing product. Great for shaving, moisturizing, or as lube. <laughs> you know, there, there's some things you should keep to yourself, you know, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look, it, maybe you can buy some moisturizer cream from someone else if you want to. Uh... Five-star review for pasture-raised chicken, eggs, corn, and soy free. Five-star review, no allergies. First, would like Frank for offering a premium product. I'm guessing they meant to say like, thank me. The color is vibrant orange. The flavor is rich and very nutrient dense. The eggs arrived in very secure packaging and not one egg broken. First time I don't react to eggs. Thanks again, Frank. Keep up the good work. Five-star review for the meat granola. Favorite treat, mix it with chocolate granola. Mmm, love it. Like to see other flavors in the future. Been satisfied with all purchases. Two thumbs up, Mike. Five-star review for pemmican. Tastes exactly like what I imagined pemmican should. I'm really excited to find this food. I've wanted to make it myself for years as it seemed like a great hiking, camping, traveling food that lasts for a long time and provides me the nutrition I need and crave. I'm a carnivore. It's a bit spendy, but it is a big chunk of food sourced from excellent ingredients, so I feel it is a fair price for what you're getting. A little, as I have found, goes a long way. It tastes really good, too. I will order more to keep in my bug out bags and my zombie apocalypse prep supplies. Highly recommend fast shipping and great communication. Uh, I'm curious if this review was for the new pemmican or the old pemmican. Either way, I'm glad you enjoyed the product. Right now we have it in like big bricks, but hopefully we can uh, get the smaller bars back in the near future. Another five-star review for the chicken eggs. Delicious and fresh eggs without the soy and corn. Great customer service, especially post-sale. It's seldom we have any cracked eggs, but when it happens, we promptly receive a refund for the damaged eggs. No hassle, no fuss. That's why Frankie's Syringe Meats have earned my family's trust. Yeah, we factor the uh, the eggs breaking into the cost of the price. So if you guys uh, have any issues with the orders, we will just uh, refund it. Sometimes what happens is we ship the eggs out and the shipping company damages them and they don't notify us and like we can't go in and check every single order. So uh, if you guys have any issues, just reach out to us. But we do have a decent amount of stuff to show you guys. I didn't film. Someone's got to lawnmower engine i didn't film yesterday saturday because we were like in the middle of finishing a few things and i wanted to show you guys just everything at once on sunday so we've been pretty busy this weekend just restocking and repackaging some stuff and the big meat delivery should come in on tuesday of this week so my guys packaged up all the this is all the foods orders uh, we still have to do the eggs and i think they're going to do the meat orders later today so in the fridge, the uh, cream cheese is somewhere around here. A2, A2 cream cheese, this is a new product. And we have all that butter, we're giving away butter free with every single order this week. So you guys are gonna get uh, a free A2, A2 butter. We might do the whole promotion for a month, I don't really know. We now have all of the lacto-fermented products in stock. So this is our sauerkraut. This is the jardiniera. And then we have the garlic dill pickles. I'm gonna take these three home. These are gonna be used for a video I gotta show you guys. And over here I think is pickle juice. Pickle juice. And then we actually have some sauerkraut juice. I might have to alter the prices on these because as you guys can see the, the sauerkraut juice is a, is a bit more concentrated than the uh, and the pickle juice but I'll figure that out we got plenty of plain water kefir I got to get some dried fruits in to make the other flavors all the dairy shipping out tomorrow guys we got everything milk kefir heavy cream sour cream farmers cheese 
I just said the cream cheese. We got yogurt. Any dairy product you basically want. All the corn and soy free eggs are back in stock as well as the duck eggs we're shipping out tomorrow. Got a lot of new stuff in the freezer so I'll try to remember all of it. This is the beef barley stew that's back. I think I showed you guys. We got a lot of veal brains. A lot of veal brains back. This is all veal brains, way too much. I think I showed you guys this on Friday. The ground chicken thigh is now available. Just some Iberico pork here. Oh, we do, we do have plain fatty sausage available. Is it in stock on the website? I gotta check that actually. I thought we were sold out of this marrow butter. I guess not. We got the uh, beef tenderloin steaks back in stock. Half pound thick cut tenderloin. We put some of the best burger blend in the vacuum seal now instead of the paper. So the best burger blend moving forward is probably going to be in this. This is just basically steak ground up, ribeye steak. This is our collagen broth, regular beef stock. I showed you guys uh, the beef and bone broth already. That's restocked. And we did restock the chicken and bone broth. So this is a very concentrated chicken broth with just some dark meat, chicken stewed down, ready for your super stew. Very high quality product. No one else is making this online. Oh, I was looking for these. We restocked the, the Wagyu New York strip steaks. Over here we got some skirt steak. We restocked the lamb feet. I don't know why you guys are buying these, but they're kind of cute. All of the pork share is still available. We got the pork ham. This is the pork rib chops, ground pork, plenty of liverwurst. Over there is some bacon, and then we have the pork ribs and shoulder chops. Restock some ground lamb. Ground lamb. And we still got, we got a small amount of 16 pound turkeys left, but we have plenty of the other sizes. Uh, this camera battery is about to die, but I, I think I'm gonna try to wrap up the vlog. Uh, now so those turkeys are available on the site at a, at a really great price uh, we did we discounted it down even further after I saw how much turkey uh, he sent me so if you guys want to buy turkeys by weight they are listed individually separated now on the meat website whether you just want them in general as like an affordable source of high quality protein or if you do want to have them as a centerpiece for like the holidays moving forward like uh, Christmas and New Year's and stuff but yeah I think that's everything there's a lot of stuff that we restocked uh, I sent out a notification email so if you guys want to keep updated on the new stuff we're bringing in every week definitely subscribe to the newsletter on the Frankie Strange Meat website where I'll explain like hey these are the new dairy products we got in this is what's on sale this is what we're giving away for free this is what's new so I'm glad you guys have been enjoying the products if you guys order like the, the pork shares and the chicken and stuff and even the dairy most of the stuff you're helping support the local amish farmers which is important because we want to give them a steady supply of consistent business and not go broke but that should really be it for this week you might have a, a few new things coming in next week uh, not really sure yet but uh, i'll keep you guys updated uh, a lot of stuff on the foods website too guys uh, I, I just showed you the, the new pickled stuff is on frankieshirinfoods.com we still got a lot of potato chips, uh, so hopefully you guys buy those before they go a little stale. But I will see you guys for the next free range meat vlog. Thank you guys for joining. All the businesses are condensed on frank if you guys want to explore everything.